All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Asus X540S. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, um, this is using a PH1 or JAS1 screwdriver. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way you do that is you just put them with the flat side of the screws down on your desk or your table and just put them in the pattern that you remove them. So four across two here and then four more at the bottom all right and that's how i keep track of them so the customer worked on this earlier already um so hopefully none of the screws are mixed up and that's partially why i don't really um give out which screws are where just in case like the customers mix things up i don't want to get people confused and then they put the wrong screws in where my customer did and then they can end up breaking their devices so I'm just going to take them out and hopefully as long as you follow my guide where you put them in order of how you take them out and keep that order nice then you should be able to put them back the same way. All right. Okay, so once we get all these screws out, we're going to pop the bottom cover off. All right, and we're going to be upgrading this to an SSD. All right, so the easiest way you do this is I'm going to use the screen as like a stand to hold it up, okay? And then it has clips holding this black plastic piece to the palm rest area. All right, so there's two ways. You can either go from the back here, if you can get your fingernails or a pry tool in there. And then while you're doing that, I use my thumb on the back here to pull on it. All right, just like this. Okay, and you can see it's popping out pretty easily. All right, then I'm gonna close the screen now that I got part of it open. We're gonna move over to the side here and just continue doing the same thing. Um, it looks like the palm rest area is gonna come out, um, not the bottom. So let's go ahead and pop all of this up and then we're gonna go ahead and have the computer open this way, okay? And it looks like the palm rest is what's gonna lift up here. So you want to be careful not to lift too quickly because there are going to be cables underneath. All right, so let me see if I can show this. Once I got the keyboard completely separated, I can open this up. And here you can see the connectors in there. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in and show how to remove this. Okay. All right, so let's get in here. All right, so here you can see the connectors here. So to remove the keyboard connector, you get underneath this little black latch and then you just flip it up just like that. Once you flip it up, the cable can come out a lot easier just like this, all right? Same thing with this one, except this one you wanna flip this white latch, okay? So flip that latch up, oops, sorry. Here we go, flip that latch up just like that and then you can pull this cable out, all right? Sorry, my hand got in the way, but there you go. All right, once you flip those two out, then you can actually lift the whole keyboard up and out of the way. Let me zoom out so you can see the entire thing. I am gonna clean the inside because it's pretty dusty. All right, so again, the keyboard just lifts out like this. It's really dusty, so I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Cleaned all the dust off of this, all right. So now what we're going to do is to replace the hard drive. So I got this Kingston SSD. Okay, I'm just going to open this up. All right. Okay, so the hard drive is right here. It looks like there's one hard, um, sorry, one screw holding it in place. So I'll remove this one screw. I believe the rest of the screws are, yeah, coming through from the bottom of the laptop. All right, once you remove that screw, you can pull the hard drive back this way. And then what we're going to do, we're going to transfer over this metal bracket. Okay, so we're going to transfer these, these metal brackets over to the SSD here. Okay. If you're wondering, the optical disk drive, if you want to remove it, there's one screw. I'll show that in a bit. It looks like the RAM is soldered to the board, so you can't upgrade it. The processor is also very likely soldered. This is like a lower-end laptop. The battery you can remove and the fan, what else? The fan and the speakers, you can remove all of those. 
and the LCD LVDS connector you can as well. If you're going to mess with the LCD or LVDS connector, which is this cable right here, um, you're going to want to reconnect the keyboard after disconnecting the battery and then press and hold the power button to drain any power from the computer. All right, so we're going to put the hard drive into this or the SSD into this caddy and we're just going to take these screws and put them in. Okay. And I'm just loosely fitting the screws first. Okay. And this is so if we need to adjust the bracket so that the screw holes can line up, then we can do that. So you don't want to tighten them all down immediately. Okay. Just loosely fit them first, just like this. All right, now we can tighten it all the way in. Tighten this all the way in. Alright, the other side, tighten that on the way in, tighten this all the way in, alright, there we go, so we got all the screws tightened, drop the hard drive or SSD back in, and then slide it over, alright, take the screw, put that one back in, again, if yours looks slightly different, the customer here worked on their computer and um, before bringing it over, so... I'm not sure if anything was changed. So we got one screw here if you want to remove the optical drive. All right, once you get that screw out to remove it, you kind of just wiggle this piece. Let's see if it'll come out actually. Sometimes they use other brackets to hold it in place. It looks like this one might be held with the entire bracket here. So we might have to take the whole hard drive, sorry, the hard drive screw and everything out. Let's see if that's the case. And yes, they actually um, integrated this onto there. So let's take the hard drive back out. And here you go, the CD drive. Let's see. Oh, wow. They actually mounted this whole bracket. Hmm. So that's kind of strange. So they mounted this bracket and it gets caught here. So you can't just lift it out. There's also these plastic pieces here that are in the way. <clears throat> so if you wanted to remove the CD drive completely, um, it looks like you'd have to remove these tiny screws here. And those are using a PH1 or JS1. Actually, oh, never mind. Okay, so this one, it rotates out, I guess. There we go. And then you can remove this bracket if you're going to replace it with a new one. Um, you can also replace this CD drive with a uh, second hard drive caddy if you don't use um, CDs that much. I believe this is a nine millimeter tall, but you'll want to double check with a ruler. And then um, they do sell like hard drive adapters that go into this slot. All right, so again, because they have these little plastic things extended, you have to put it at an angle like this. So you do have to pull it forward first because there's this little gap here where this metal leg goes in. All right, and then you put that and then you can slide it over. All right, just like this. Is it going back down? It's just kind of staying up. Let's see, am I doing something wrong? Okay, so there's this little clip there, so you will have to kind of clip it into place. You can do that by pu pulling the screen back, and that helps flex this just enough that you can easily pull it up. If you have the screen pulled forward, then it, it locks it in place and you can't get it out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to push the screen back, and then you can lift this out. All right, there we go. I'm going to put that back in place. Okay, that's interesting. We'll put this screw back now. And it looks like to remove the speaker, you'll have to remove the CD drive as well. So if for some reason you need to replace the speaker, just know that you'll have to do that. Okay, all right, let's put back the SSD or the hard drive. All right, this board, um, hmm. It looks like this board for the hard drive and the um, CD drive is actually removable. It looks like it pulls out, but I'm not going to mess with it because the only problem with this computer is the hard drive. Um, let's see, the batteries right here, if you want to remove it, you have to kind of rotate it up. I don't know if there's any other screws holding it in place. I don't see any screws holding it in place. So most likely you just have to pull this up. Hmm. It's holding really strong, so I'm not too sure. Wow, that's 
like really stuck in there. You'd probably have to use some kind of tool to pop it up somehow. I don't know. Okay, well, it does move back when I kind of move it this way. So most likely, I think you have to kind of wiggle it as you kind of lift it. But it's tough to lift, so I don't want to mess with this and then risk damaging other components. So I'll try a little bit more, but if it stays stuck in there, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, it's stuck pretty tight, so I'm not too sure. I don't want to mess with this. I don't see any screws, and it does wiggle around. So most likely you should be able to lift it out, but I don't know why it's holding itself so strong. But anyways, you got the wireless card here, speaker here, and the fan. So if you're going to work on this, I guess main thing, hard drive, CD drive, um, the battery. If you want to risk it, you can try, but I don't want to mess with it and then damage it. Um, there's a battery model number here. Let me see if I can show this. Uh, let's see. I think it's right here. A31N1519. So if you do need a replacement battery, that's what you'd look for. Okay, let's put this thing back together. And then I'm just going to reinstall Windows on it for the customer. Um, but again, that's all I'm going to show because I don't want to risk damaging the customer's computer when the only issue was their hard drive. Okay, so now we're going to put this piece back on. Um, these can be a little bit tricky, but basically we're going to do the reverse of what we did to take it out. Make sure that these latches are pulled up. Okay, oops, there's some dust there. All right, let me zoom in and see if I can show this a little bit better. Okay, so we'll try and... It's hard to do this to show it on camera, but hopefully you guys get the idea. You just get this connector, all right, wall the latches up, line it up, make sure to hold that into place, and then slide your finger over the latch to latch it back down. And then same thing with this one, get the connector, line it up, slide it in place. There's some dust on it, let me clean that real quick, all right. Slide that in place, slide your finger over the top, and there we go. All right, now we just flip the thing back down. Oops. All right, and then we're just gonna clip all the clips back into place. So just go around the computer, clipping it all back down. All right, make sure that you get all the clips. So the customer, before they use some metal tools, you can see it chipped, or I don't know if you can see, but it chipped the shell, so. All right, so just go around, clip all this in place. All right, and close it up. Check, wow, they scratched that up quite a bit. All right, so make sure you get the clips. This corner one is not clipped. There we go. And all right, clip everything into place. It sounds like it's actually starting up. I might have accidentally pushed the power button. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back off now, but that's pretty much it. We're going to put back all the screws, and then we're going to just reinstall Windows. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Help them find my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. You're welcome to stay as I put back all the screws. But other than that, that's all there is to this laptop. All right. Side screws. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.